today I will be going over the meeting from the 25th and we talked about fast fashion and had a special guest Charlotte Whiting. So we just have a couple of announcements. So the first one is that uh, we decided to no longer do t-shirts just because it's a bit hard with the virtual format. There is not going to be a meeting on February 8th. The next one will be on the 22nd. And um, at the 22nd meeting, we are going to have a discussion on podcasts about environmental justice and environmental racism. So if you would uh, like to listen to those, it's on the Google Classroom and the code for the Google Classroom is there as well. So we introduced our guest speaker, Charlotte. Um, this is just a bit about her. Fast fashion is a highly profitable business model based on replicating catwalk trends and high fashion designs and mass producing them at a low cost. And it's hurting the environment because of the greenhouse gases, the fibers that are made from fossil fuel, the large amount of textiles that go to the dump, and the microplastics that end up in the ocean. Here is a um, infographic that you can pause to read if you would like. So the fast fashion industry really started in the 60s and the 70s. And um, then Czar became more prominent in the 1990s. And that was one of the first major fast fashion industries. In early 2000s, it really kicked off with companies like H&M and Forever 21 um, coming into prominence. So this is when Charlotte took over and she just talked a little bit about why she believes in it's an issue right now. Um, some of these have to do with human trafficking and the working conditions. Then Charlotte talked about the club that she joined in college, which is called Sustainability Now. It's a great club that focuses on uh, sustainability and fast fashion. Next, she went to Asia and she talked about her experience seeing how Clothes was made slowly and by women who are paid fairly and equally. Charlotte created a club called Bash and Fashion, and this club basically um, focused a lot on sustainability and reusing what you have. And they had things like things like make uh, your own um, bracelets and things like that to identify fast fashion you can ask yourself these questions here. Here are some common fast fashion companies that you probably have seen around. So thank you for listening to this and come to our next meeting on February 22nd for a podcast chat.